Hello and welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be putting resin on this box but I'm also going to be embellishing it first with uh, some decoupage paper and some cutouts. So this is the map that I've got which is decoupage paper and I've also got these cutouts but you could use anything that you want. You could use an old normal map and photographs and I'm going to be putting the cutouts around the sides as well as on the top. But first of all, it's important to take off all the hardware and I keep that in a little pot so I don't lose it. I'm going to paint it all black to uh, give it a base and to seal the wood before putting the resin on. So here I am, I'm making a decision of where I'm going to stick these on. And I'm having the map over the top, as you can see. And I've also marked which is the front and which is the back of this. So it's facing the right way. I will use Mod Podge to cover the actual map first. Or I will put it on the base, on the actual box, and then put the map over the top of it, as I've done here. And I'm delicately going over with my fingers. And now I'm quickly doing the sides and because it's such thin paper, as long as you try and be a little bit neat with the sides, folding them in and everything, then you really can't see it. And as you can see, I'm just doing it as if it was a present here and then wrapping it over onto the Mod Podge and letting that dry. It doesn't really take too long to dry, which is great. So to tidy that up, I've got a brand new blade in my X-Acto knife or scalpel and I'm just running that along, letting the blade do the work rather than trying to push it through. That way you don't tear it and it gives you a lovely neat edge and finish at the end. So I just pop the blade in and let the sharpness of the blade push that blade through. There's a little bit there where it's folded over and then I just cut it off and there we go. It's all done nice and neat. So that's finished now and what I want to do is I want to stick on these embellishments that I've cut out. I'm just using a ruler here to measure where that one goes and putting it down. And again, I'm sticking it down with Mod Podge. This one, I want it to fold over so it's on the side as well. And the little seahorse is going in the middle. And the star, again, using Mod Podge is going in the middle. And I had planned out where I wanted to have everything. And I think that's quite important, although you can change it as you go. So now what I'm going to be doing is just adding my final embellishment. There we go, onto that edge and over that side. Oh, no, I have decided that I'm going to put on these three little straps or, or bits here. And I've also done the same going round the sides. And what I'm going to be doing is covering the whole thing with Mod Podge to make sure it's completely sealed and dry before I put any resin on it. And what this also does is it prevents any bubbles that have got trapped underneath from coming up in the resin. And it also prevents the resin doing any damage whatsoever to this delicate tissue paper and to these pictures. I love my Mod Podge, it is so useful. Everything I use I'll put in the description below, don't worry. So there we go, that's all done now, and that's nicely sealed off. I do like these pictures, and I just saw this yes, and I thought that has to go on there too. So what I need to do now is I need to be thinking about the resin that I'm going to be putting onto this box. And I'm just checking it all fits nicely, and I've got it around the right way, which I have. And now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to seal all these edges with Mod Podge prior to doing the resin. So I've done that. And now I'm going to be pouring my resin over. And I don't want it too thick a coat in here because I don't want the lid to be too heavy. But I do want these pictures to be protected and to, for it to give that nice glossy finish, finish. So I'm spreading that out. And then what I will do is just go over that with my torch to ensure there is no bubbles that are going to affect it. And then I'm going to cover it with a box while it's curing. And it's really important to cover with a box. There we go. So the box is coming off. This is nicely cured. And as you can see, it's clear. It's really setting off those pictures nicely. So now it's time for the top of the box. I'm making sure it's level because what I don't want it to do is I don't want it to run off on one end 
or I don't want it to be thicker on one end than the other, so it's important for it to be level. And now all I'm doing is pouring a thin coat over the top of this lid and again spreading it out. And because I want the sides to be shiny, I haven't taped off the bottom because if I tape off the bottom, I'm concerned that it'll pull off the actual paper or anything that's actually on the bottom of this box on the edges. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure I've got a thinnish resin here. I'm giving it a really good uh, going over with this little plastic painting knife. And I love these. I use these all the time. And then what I will do is once I'm happy and that everything is coated as well as it needs to be coated, I'm using this little silicon brush. Again, they'll, the link to these will be in the description. And making sure that I go over the edges with any resin it's not going to be a thick coat but what it will be it will be nicely covered and protected using that resin now to avoid drips which is really important obviously because i've got no tape in the bottom of this and i don't want to cut them off i don't want to sand them off i don't want them there what I'm doing is, and really until this starts to thicken up, I'm going round using this silicone brush, using the edge of it underneath, as you can see there, removing any drips. Now, I haven't over poured, so there shouldn't be many drips. I'm just quickly going over it with my torch here to get rid of any bubbles. And there was a bit of lint, because I am just so clumsy. I always get it in somewhere. Just checking that there's nothing there that needs removing. And again, I'm going round these edges. And I do this for, I'll check, keep checking this for about 15 minutes after putting this pour on. And as you'll see at the end, there wasn't any drips, which was great. And the lid shut lovely. And I didn't ruin anything by doing this. So I'm just giving it the once over, making sure that there is no bits that aren't covered in resin or any bits in it that I want to remove. Again, final check with my torch. Going over it with the edge, remove those drips. And what I will do now is I will cover it with a box. This is finished now, this box with the stickers on it that I cut out. And what I'm going to do is, I've gone over it with Mod Podge, but what I'm going to do before I put the top back on, I'm going to give it a spray with some good gloss varnish. And as usual, I will be using Crystal Clear Seal and Protect. I just think it will give it that extra bit of shine, but also it will protect it that little bit more as well. If you want to know where I get this from, I'll pop the link in the description. This box is finished now. I'm really pleased with how it's come out. I think it looks great. Now it's all varnished and resined over. It's very well protected. I'll put it back together again, obviously. And I love how the inside has come out again. And because I put this decoupage paper on here, I couldn't take this off. So I had to be very careful when putting the resin down the sides to ensure that it didn't leave drips that would affect the box closing. And it hasn't done and i'm really pleased with this so what i shall do now is i shall either put a gift in it for somebody or i will keep it for myself and um, put some other stuff in it similar to this box i made here uh that i keep all my jewelry tools in that i was going to give to somebody and if you want to know how i make this uh, there is a video on my playlist about making boxes so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed making this one as well. I love making videos. I've just become a Patreon. So if you'd like to help support this channel and show your appreciation for my, vi for my videos and just help, then please check out my Patreon account. The link is in the description below. There are some extra photographs in there. There's some little bit of behind the scenes information will go in there. A sneak preview of the projects that I'm working on that I'm coming up with and also some tips and tricks and it really helps me as well also don't forget to join my facebook group how to resin with steve mcdonald there's lots of um, support great community in there and uh, please hit the like and the subscribe button it really does help my videos to get out there thank you very much enjoy your resin bye